and I uh, with sized brass and why you need to size the web of your cartridge uh, so that the brass fits your chamber perfectly. This brass has been sized by a shoulder bump die and the primer has been removed and I'll show you how it still fits a bit tight in this chamber. You see how the bolt closes rather tightly? Okay, you noticed over there when I was fitting that brass in the rifle, I had a stripped bolt. It's easy as a, a firing pin removal tool and you remove the firing assembly out of the bolt for the rifle. Now when you're checking your brass for fit, you don't have to contend with the spring tension from the cocking piece in the firing assembly. So this stripped bolt now is what you use for all your fit and function tests with your rifle. Okay, this was a piece of brass that we had over there in the rifle that was tight. What we had done beforehand is run it through our uh, uh, shoulder setback die or bump die and it was still tight in the web so what we need to do is run it through our ring die. This is a ring die. What it does is it only sizes the brass at the very bottom of the die. It's clear through and it doesn't do anything with the neck or shoulder, just the base of the die. In order to do that, I've got an altered shell holder that I milled the top off of. I've milled about 35 thousandths off the top of this shell holder so that I can push the brass right up into that die to the very back end of the cartridge. Okay, what I've done is replaced the shoulder setback die or bump die with my ring die and my altered shell holder. What I'm going to do is measure this cartridge at the base and I got about 470, right? Just maybe just a hair under 470 at the base. We're going to change that. In the meantime, so that I know I haven't changed headspace at all, I'm going to take my little headspace gauge measure it with the calipers here and I got 1.608 so we'll run this cartridge through the die and you use some imperial die wax on the body of the cartridge run it through the die and wipe it off and then we're going to remeasure the base Okay, there we go right there. Now I got just under 0.469, I'd say like 468 and a half, right in that region. And for the headspace, we're still at 1.608. So we've squeezed the base in or the web, and we haven't made the cartridge any longer. Now we'll go try it out in the rifle. Okay, now after we did all that in those other steps, here we go here with the same piece of brass going into the chamber. Nice, easy bolt close and open. And that's how it works.